So it's basically an open secret that Donald Trump is a criminal. He's a criminal, not just a bad president. I'm saying he's literally a criminal. His entire family, they are criminals. According to a 2018 report from the New York Times, his father committed tax fraud to pass down more wealth to Donald Trump and his siblings. Donald Trump is a criminal. And we know that if you look into the Trump organization, we will find fraud because where there's smoke, there's fire. Now, I don't know what we're going to find. Money laundering, who knows? I mean, he's currently literally benefiting financially from his properties as president like public officials from around the world stay at trump organizations trump hotels and he makes money official government business leads to him making money that is corruption it's fraudulent and the question is what are we going to do about it and uh, i think the answer is probably nothing because we live in a two-tier justice system where we lock away poor people for smoking pot and rich people can commit financial crimes and fraud and get away with it. However, that doesn't necessarily mean that just because we can expect that there will be no justice, that we shouldn't at least try to pursue justice because Donald Trump is being criminally investigated, or I should say the Trump organization is being criminally investigated. And it goes deeper than the hush money payments to Stormy Daniels, which is illegal, by the way, because that amounts to a campaign finance violation. Nonetheless, there's more there to be found. And an attorney general is currently looking into it. So do I expect much to come of this? Not necessarily, but that doesn't necessarily mean that the investigation shouldn't happen. Because we have to do everything in our power with, you know, what legal authority or ability we have to hold corrupt public officials with a lot of power accountable. So as Larry Neumeister of AP reports, a New York City prosecutor fighting to get President Donald Trump's tax returns told a judge Monday he was justified in demanding them because of public reports of extensive and protracted criminal conduct at the Trump organization. Manhattan District Attorney Cyrus R. Vance Jr. is seeking eight years of the Republican president's personal and corporate tax records, but has disclosed little about what prompted him to request the records other than part of the investigation related to payoffs to two women to keep quiet about alleged affairs with Trump. In a court filing Monday, attorneys for Vance said the president wasn't entitled to know the exact nature of the grand jury investigation. They noted, though, that at the time the subpoena for the tax filings was issued to Trump's accountants, there were public allegations of possible criminal activity at the president's company dating back over a decade. They cited several newspaper articles, including one in which the Washington Post examined allegations that Trump had a practice of sending financial statements to potential business partners and banks that inflated the worth of his projects by claiming they were bigger or more potentially lucrative than they were. Another news article described congressional testimony by Trump's former personal lawyer, Michael Cohen, who said the president would overstate the value of his business interests to impress people or lenders, but then deflate the value of assets when trying to reduce his taxes. The attorneys also cited reports of past investigations by New York regulators into whether the conduct described by Cohen amounted to bank fraud. These reports describe transactions involving individual and corporate actors based in New York County, but whose conduct at times extended beyond New York's borders. This possible criminal activity occurred within the applicable statutes of limitations, particularly if the transactions involved a continuing pattern of conduct, the lawyer said. Trump's legal team has argued that the subpoena for his tax filings was issued in bad faith and amounted to harassment of the president. The Supreme Court last month rejected claims by Trump's lawyers that the president could not be criminally investigated while he was in office. So again, the hush money payments here are a factor, but this does go deeper than that. And I think that, you know, if you really do a deep dive into the Trump organization and his business dealings, you will find an abundance of corrupt deals. And look, if we lived in a just society where uh, oligarchs and elites were held to the same standard as us peasants, Donald Trump would be leaving the White House in handcuffs. But to even say that, it's it's laughable almost because we don't hold criminals accountable so long as they have money or power. I mean, if we actually did follow the law, George W. Bush and Dick Cheney would be rotting in prison right now. But, you know, Democrats don't want to hold Republicans accountable because they also break the law. And Republicans don't want to hold Democrats accountable because they break the law. So we have both parties in bipartisan agreement that we shouldn't hold our opponents accountable, even if they're 
in violation of the law for, you know, financial crimes, corruption, because we also want to partake in said corruption. It's just, it's deeply disturbing. But I mean, if this goes somewhere, I would be surprised. I don't necessarily believe that this will lead to Donald Trump being exposed before the election. And even if this was, uh, you know, in some way able to convince people that Trump legally had committed crimes before the election, I mean, there's a portion of the population it doesn't matter what you find out about Donald Trump. They will never leave him because this is a cult. You know, they uh, believe everything that Daddy Trump says and everything that he says by, nef by definition is good because he said it. So I'm not optimistic that this is going to amount to much, but I will always um, view these types of investigations positively if there is an attempt to hold someone in power accountable when it's warranted. Like, we're not talking about dumb scandals like the Benghazi scandals where Republicans were trying to make something out of nothing. Like, we're talking about actual crime that there are numerous reports of Trump organization committing. So, I don't think nothing, anything will come of this, but if it, you know, it doesn't, the fact that we are investigating him is important, right? Because just because there's no expectation that justice will be served doesn't necessarily mean that we shouldn't pursue justice because with what legal authority we have to hold rich people accountable, we absolutely have a responsibility morally to do just that. So, you know, if this leads to Donald Trump getting exposed and hopefully prosecuted, great. I'm not going to get my hopes up, but this investigation is still important and it should definitely still happen. The Humanist Report is fake news. Mike only cares about Crazy Bernie and his wacky socialist ideas. Sad. Very sad. I'm unsubscribing.